Hello. I would like to speak with you for a few minutes about some of the enclosure styles that are available for the eighth den enclosures. These are very common accessories that can be adapted for a variety of needs. Let's start with the most basic indoor wall mounting one called the LCN 4X. Here I'm showing you like a typical installation where one of the mini troll family or Intellect 69 family can be mounted within this enclosure. You'll see that the enclosure is purchased with a cutout to fit the instrument itself. It's the, typically these are installed on a wall mount. To install them you remove the four screws and you'll see in the back that there are through holes so the actual mounting screws will be uh, installed before the cover is put in. The plastics on these can be um, modified quite easily with hole saws to provide conduit entries and it's important when selecting any enclosure that you decide on how you want to run your electric and signal cables before making modifications to the box. Often these holes are added at the last minute just prior to installation of the wiring. Let's look at some of the other enclosure styles that are available. The next enclosure is more suitable for uh, outdoor use. Originally the series that we offered was the NEMA 8th DIN. More recently this has been replaced by the MS-821 NEMA 8th DIN. This enclosure is more of a fiberglass resin suitable for weather installations and you'll notice that it has like a lockable hasp on one side as well as stainless steel mounting feet. Once again this is easily cut with a hole saw to provide conduit entries as we're illustrating here. With this style enclosure it's important to be looking at whether you want the enclosure to be ordered with a hinge top or a hinge left orientation. When planning your installation it's important with these hinge styles that you allow adequate space on the side for the cover to fully open. You'll also notice that there's a provision for installing sub panels. These are optional accessories and often it's possible to mount a DIN rail in the enclosure with terminal blocks to facilitate customer wiring while maintaining additional enclosure wiring you may provide yourself for other connections. These are very popular styles again for both indoor and outdoor use and provide a greater degree of waterproofness including a NEMA 4X rating. The final classifications we're going to be discussing today are ones going into explosion proof areas. These are the hazardous areas where the material and the environment um, you're trying to prevent like accidental ignition of uh, flammable mixtures of either liquids or gases. These enclosures are suitable for indoor or outdoor use and are basically large castings of aluminum. To install the instrument requires removing the circular cover see there's a number of threads of engagement making access to a sub panel. Once again the instruments would be located within the interior of this enclosure. It's important to realize that the cover cannot be opened during normal energized surface. What this requires then is some operations such as resetting the totalizer may need to use magnetically activated switches where a special wand will be placed on the face of the glass to cause the totalizer to reset. You'll notice that there's a label on the side of the box listing the uh, enclosure ratings and what hazardous areas they're suitable for. Once again, conduit, planning your conduit entries is important in any enclosure. This model, the XHV, uh, does have conduit entries provided. 
Thank you very much for your attention and feel free to contact us with any questions you have regarding your enclosures.